the dawn of Dharma birthplace of an ancient faith. Hinduism, a tapestry of diverse beliefs and practices, stands as the world's oldest living religion. Its origins can be traced back thousands of years to the Indian subcontinent. The Indus Valley Civilization, flourishing around 3000 BCE, offers the first glimpses into the spiritual world of ancient India. Archaeological discoveries reveal evidence of religious practices, including the worship of nature deities and mother goddesses. These early expressions of faith laid the foundation for what would later evolve into Hinduism. The arrival of the Indo-Aryan people around 1500 BCE marked a turning point in the development of Hinduism. They brought with them a distinct set of religious traditions which blended with the existing beliefs of the Indus Valley people. This fusion of cultures gave birth to a new era in Indian spirituality, the Vedic period. During this period, the foundations of Hinduism were laid. The Vedas, a collection of sacred hymns, prayers and rituals, were composed and became central to religious life. The Vedas celebrated the power of nature gods, such as Indra, the god of thunder and rain, and Agni, the god of fire. These hymns reflect a deep reverence for the cosmos and offer insights into the worldview of the early Indo-Aryan people. The Vedic period marked the beginning of a long and complex spiritual journey that would shape the religious landscape of India for millennia to come. The beliefs and practices of this era laid the groundwork for the development of one of the world's most enduring and influential religions. The Vedas, a collection of sacred texts, stand as the cornerstone of Hinduism. These ancient scriptures, composed in Sanskrit between 1500 and 500 BCE, offer profound insights into the religious beliefs and practices of the Vedic period. The word Veda itself means knowledge or wisdom, reflecting the profound spiritual insights contained within these texts. The Vedas are divided into four primary collections, each with its unique focus and significance. The Rig Veda, the oldest and most important of the four, is a collection of hymns addressed to various deities. These hymns, filled with poetic imagery and philosophical reflections, provide glimpses into the worldview of the early Indo-Aryans. The Samaveda focuses on melodies and chants used in religious rituals. It draws heavily from the Rig Veda, adapting its hymns into musical compositions. The Yajur Veda, on the other hand, is a guidebook for priests, outlining the proper procedures for performing sacrifices and other ceremonies. Finally, the Atharva Veda is a collection of spells, charms and incantations. It reflects the everyday concerns of the Vedic people, addressing issues such as healing, protection and prosperity. The Atharva Veda offers a fascinating glimpse into the beliefs and practices of ordinary people during this era. The Vedas, with their rich tapestry of hymns, rituals and philosophical musings, provide a window into the spiritual world of ancient India. They remain a source of inspiration and guidance for Hindus today, their timeless wisdom continuing to shape religious beliefs and practices. As the Vedic period drew to a close, a new wave of spiritual inquiry began to emerge in India. Thinkers and seekers began to question the outward rituals and sacrifices that had come to dominate religious life. They sought deeper meaning and understanding, turning their attention inwards to explore the nature of the self and the ultimate reality. This period of philosophical exploration gave birth to the Upanishads, a collection of texts that would profoundly influence the development of Hinduism. The Upanishads, composed between 800 and 400 BCE, mark a significant shift in focus from external rituals to internal reflection. These texts introduce key concepts that lie at the heart of Hindu philosophy, including Brahman, Atman and Moksha. Brahman refers to the ultimate reality, the cosmic principle that underlies all existence. Atman, on the other hand, represents the individual soul or self. The Upanishads teach that Atman is, in essence, identical to Brahman. This realization, known as self-realization or enlightenment, is the ultimate goal of human life. Achieving moksha, liberation from the cycle of birth and death, becomes possible through this realization. The Upanishads explore these profound ideas through dialogues, stories and metaphors. They encourage introspection, urging individuals to look within to discover the truth of their own being. 
these texts laid the foundation for the development of various schools of Hindu philosophy, each offering its unique interpretation of the path to liberation. Hinduism is, well, a tapestry of rich beliefs and philosophies that have evolved over thousands of years. At its core, it emphasizes the pursuit of truth and understanding the nature of reality. One of the central concepts is Dharma, which refers to the moral and ethical duties that guide an individual's life. It's, you know, about living in harmony with the universe. Another key belief is Karma, the law of cause and effect. It teaches that every action we take has consequences shaping our future experiences. And then there's Moksha, the ultimate goal of liberation from the cycle of birth and rebirth, known as Samsara. Achieving moksha means attaining a state of eternal bliss and unity with the divine. These philosophies offer like profound insights into the human condition and our place in the cosmos, encouraging a life of virtue, wisdom and spiritual growth. Hinduism, with its rich tapestry of rituals, festivals and daily practices, offers a profound expression of faith. From the intricate art of Rangoli to the meditative chants of mantras, each act is a devotion, a way to connect with the divine. The vibrant festivals such as Diwali and Holi not only celebrate the triumph of good over evil, but also foster a sense of community and shared joy. Through these varied expressions, Hinduism weaves a continuous thread of spirituality into the fabric of everyday life. The 19th and 20th centuries witnessed a remarkable period of reform and renaissance within Hinduism. Visionaries like Swami Vivekananda and Mahatma Gandhi sought to reinterpret and rejuvenate ancient teachings, addressing contemporary social issues and injustices. This era also marked the spread of Hindu philosophy beyond India's borders, influencing global thought and spirituality. Today, the principles of yoga and meditation rooted in Hindu tradition, are practiced worldwide, embodying the universal appeal and adaptability of Hindu wisdom. In the 21st century, Hinduism continues to evolve, embracing modernity while preserving its ancient roots. The diaspora has carried Hindu practices to every corner of the globe, creating vibrant communities that celebrate their heritage. Technology and social media have become new platforms for sharing and learning about Hindu traditions, making them accessible to younger generations. Yet amidst these changes, the core values of Dharma, Karma, and the pursuit of spiritual knowledge remain steadfast, guiding Hindus through the complexities of contemporary life. Hinduism's enduring legacy lies in its ability to adapt and thrive through millennia, its profound philosophies, diverse practices and inclusive nature have allowed it to remain relevant in an ever-changing world. As we look to the future, Hinduism's emphasis on inner peace, respect for all beings and the interconnectedness of life continues to inspire and guide millions. This timeless tradition, with its rich heritage and enduring wisdom, stands as a testament to the resilience and depth of human spirituality.